Good morning. My name is Kellen Klein, Executive Director of the American College Health Foundation. We're pleased to welcome our guests both in person and online via our live stream for today's summit. Please note that this session is happening simultaneously with the session next door. Program two is next door. A couple of housekeeping items before we get started. First, we are live streaming the event. Therefore, we would like to ask our live audience to please keep conversations to a minimum around the cameras in order to ensure a great viewing experience for our online audience. Additionally, we would like to remind our panelists and audience that this event is also being recorded. I'd like to ask all attendees to please now silence your cell phones. This includes putting them off of vibrate if it's going to sit on a table, please. Second, we will build in several breaks throughout our time together. During this time, we will continue the live stream portion of the event, so our online attendees are welcome to leave on their feeds or to log out and log back in at the appropriate times. For in-person attendees, the restrooms are down the hall to the left. Regarding questions today, since we are live streaming, we would ask all participants to please ask your questions via Slido. Please go to the website sli.do and insert code ACHA-PGM1. So that's Slido, S-L-I dot D-O, and the code for today is ACHA-PGM1. We will cue your questions and we'll ask them of our panelists throughout the day. Before we get started, I would like to recognize our nonprofit supporting organizations for this event. We wouldn't be able to do it without your support. Active Minds, ACPA, American Council on Education, Association for University and College Counseling Center Directors, the Jed Foundation, Mid-Atlantic College Health Association, NASPA, and NURSA. Thank you for your partnership and promotion of this important event. Additionally, I would like to thank the American College Health Foundation for partnering on today's event. I would also like to thank our gold sponsor, Aetna, and our silver sponsor, RaRa, for their generous support in making today's event possible. I'd also be remiss if I didn't thank our co-host of this event, the George Washington University. GWU has a long history in supporting student well-being. At this time, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce Stephanie Hannenberg, President of the American College Health Association and Executive Director of Health and Wellness at the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs, who will provide some opening remarks. Good morning, and thank you all so much for being here in person and virtually. Um, I would like to welcome everybody to ACHA's Leadership and Innovation Summit on Building a Culture of Campus Well-Being. Again, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to see so many people here today. Since 1920, the American College Health Association has served as the voice for student health, mental health, and wellness. Through advocacy, research, and education, ACHA stands at the forefront of issues that impacts the health, mental health, and wellness of our college students. In 2016, ACHA identified among its top three advocacy priorities the need to enhance our collective efforts around well-being and to also assist our members, institutions, in addressing the growing needs for mental health services on campuses nationwide. We know that well-being is directly connected to every aspect of a student's life. It's crucial for our institutions that we align our policies to help support students' multidimensional needs as they prepare to meet the unique stresses and demands of college. These can include social, emotional, environmental, financial, intellectual, physical, spiritual, and vocational needs. At times, the concept of well-being can get lost as we discuss theoretical underpinnings and paradigms. However, our goal over the next two days of this summit is to drill down into the practice of well-being and identify new innovations that can help spread the well-being initiatives across campuses and universities nationwide. At the same time, it is our goal to also encourage policymakers to modify laws and regulations to help facilitate environments of student well-being across our nations. Before we get started this morning, I would like to take a moment to echo Kellen's thanks to Rara for being a silver sponsor of today's event and a big thank you to Aetna Student Health for being a gold sponsor. I'd like to ask Dr. Wendy Shanahan Richards, the Chief Medical Officer with Aetna Student Health, to come up and say a few words. Good morning, everyone. 
So welcome to a beautiful sunny day in our nation's capital. What could we ask for more than that, right? Last year in November, um, we had sponsored a clinical forum in uh, one of Aetna Student Health offices in Chicago. And about 10 minutes into the conference, it started to snow. Um, <laughs> so we don't, have, we don't have risk of that today. Um, but I wanted to um, echo Stephanie's and Kellen's welcome this morning. Um, I'm very pleased um, to um, have a few moments to speak, um, and I look forward to, to meeting all of you um, over the next two days. So on behalf of Aetna Student Health, um, I and my colleagues, um, and on behalf of our president, Jen Oka, are honored to have been invited to participate in what promises to be two days of very interesting discussions and robust sharing of ideas. Aetna Student Health is a provider of healthcare benefits specifically designed for people who are enrolled in institutions of higher education. While the average age of our members is approximately 24 years old, we also have many people that use our services who are older, others who have families, and students who are from countries outside of the United States. And during over, our over 30 years partnering with schools and students, we have learned a great deal about this unique population, their healthcare needs, the challenges they face, and how we can best collaborate with and support them and our schools. But we also recognize that as much as we have content, contact with many of your students while they're enrolled in our health insurance plan, it's on your campuses and during many interactions with you where you're in your teams where students you know, are interacting with you on campus, whether it be in your campus health center, your insurance offices, or the classroom, that these needs and challenges truly come to light. And so with that being said, I and my colleagues from Aetna Student Health are really looking forward to the panel discussions and to meeting many of you and learning from you over the next few days. Um, we'd also like to remind you that um, you know, we have a reception this afternoon from 4 to 6. It's going to be at the W Hotel at the Altitude. It promises to be, um, I've, I've heard, a very you know, interesting venue um, and with some lots of good food and conversation. So we hope you'll be able to join us. If you do have questions um, in terms of the location, feel free to uh, reach out to any of us at Aetna Student Health. There's several of us here. Some of us are sitting over here and some of us are over here. Someone waving their hand, people are waving their hand. So feel free to reach out to us um, if you need directions or any other information. Um, and again, thank you so much and welcome. <laughs> 